Okay, so discussion time with Mike and Robin again. We're talking about something crazy we saw on the internet the other day. Um, a company is selling pre-worn out or like weathered black belts, right? They're all frayed and they look like, you know, you've been wearing it for like 20 years. Who would buy that? No, I don't know of any self-respecting black belt or probably even a white belt for that matter, who would buy a pre-worn belt, right? Like, there's kind of something too, like the the wear and tear on your belt. Would you agree? It has everything to do with your progression. That's a, that's a salty brown belt right there. It's a salty brown belt. Yes. All natural. Yes. Yes. But wear and tear. But it's okay to wash it, <laughs> right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. If you want to wash away progression, <laughs> okay, so it's not magic though, we can agree on that, right? But it is cotton and it can carry some nasty stuff, just like a dirty gi, right? So I'm not saying overwash it. I don't overwash mine because I do have a weird thing about that. I mean, we kind of all do, I think, but come on, it's cotton. It's going to get sweat and blood and dirt on it. Wash your belt and for the love of God, wash your gis and Please. your bodies. Don't come to class nasty right fingernails they're gotta you gotta trim them right you have to you gotta cut them down i mean it's just yeah no talons yeah no good because a little scratch with some nastiness underneath your fingernails right so wash your hands before you train brush your teeth nobody wants to smell your your mouth funk you know um but yeah i mean we can't stress enough that you know like my friend brooks would say the mat is a petri dish Right? Very much you, so. you know, we have, I, I'm sure your professors are out there are already talking about this on a daily basis. You don't want ringworm. It sucks. The you funk. don't, oh yeah. Mm -mm. You know, it, yeah. It takes you off the mat. You try to hide it. Yeah, and there's all sorts of really good products out there, you know, like to, to clean your body, um, you know, for like mat soap and all sorts of different, you know, gladiator soaps one. I mean, there's all sorts of them out there that are really good for keeping you clean. So shower as soon as you can after you're done training. But don't come to the mat dirty. That's critical, right? You always shower before too. Yeah, absolutely. We work. have guys. We, we, have, we have guys that are like garbage, uh, garbage men, you know, like working with garbage all day. They come in and shower before they train. We love them. Yeah. So, yeah. Anything to add? Um, yeah, be careful about washing your belt, you know, and the progression and everything. <laughs> don't, so don't wash it too much. Don't I wash it too much. But you can wash it. I wash mine, yeah. You, Once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, I would hate for it to be, you know, weathered by something else other than sure progress. Yeah, but it's not going to over-weather it. If you want to be really safe, you can hang dry it. I do hang dry it when I do wash it, yeah. for sure. There you go. Yes. Or you can take it to a dry cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep yourself clean. Don't feel bad about speaking up. Like, maybe off to the side. I wouldn't out somebody right in the middle of class. But if somebody's got a funky gi, it's okay to tell them, hey, yeah. dude, you gotta wash your gi. I've had hey. that conversation a lot. You got to. Yep. Yeah. Stay clean. Keep training. Yep. We'll talk soon. <laughs>